At Science Live, developers are always at the forefront of our mind. For a number of years, we've actually had an API-first development strategy. What this actually means is, for those of you who don't know, is that we develop our APIs before we even start thinking about the user interface. This means that, actually, we are a consumer and a customer of our own API. In fact, all of our users, therefore, are API users. We have two main APIs available. They are the Network API and the Web Triggers API. Our Network API, as the name suggests, allows you to perform operations against the Sunridge Live network. You can actually perform any operation within the API that you can against our user interface. Therefore, all functionality is available. We've seen some great integrations uh, by some of our partners where they've integrated into applications they're already using for content management workflows, into their own CMS solutions, and device management. Web Triggers is an API that allows you to trigger content on your Sunrise Live players across the internet in real time. You're able to trigger a single, multiple, or even all of the players on your network. Great use cases for this, for example, are emergency messaging or integration with CMS solutions for, for new deals. In our marketplace, we've already got some really good integrations, for example, the Kramer driver for room control and retail experience control, or the integration with layered solutions for mass and emergency messaging. The really, really good thing about Web Triggers is not only can you trigger cached content, for example, images and videos, you can also trigger dynamic content, so web pages and Sunridge Live widgets. Well, you can actually send data along with the trigger that can be injected into those two so that you can affect the content that is displayed. A really good example of this is integration with key management solutions where you can display the ticket number that's currently being served. The Widget Development Framework is a technology that allows you to build and package HTML5 web applications that are deployed and cached to your Sunrise Live media players. The advantage of this over simply deploying a web page is that should the network connection go down to your player, your content will still run. A simple way of thinking about a widget is that it is effectively a zip archive containing all of the elements required to display your content. That's the HTML5, JavaScript, CSS, images, whatever you need. Widgets are actually based on uh, the W3C widget specification. We've actually extended the specification to allow you to create custom properties and have data validation of those properties. What this means is, is that you can expose fields such as text in our Sunrise Live interface that can be easily updatable by your users. A great example of this is our notice board application. To that end, in fact, most of the applications in our marketplace are actually underpinned by the widget development framework. In order to get started with the widget development framework, we have an extensive library of samples over at GitHub, as well as extensive developer documentation and a command line tool that allows you to easily build widgets. Our APIs and the widget development framework are the key cornerstones of our developer tools. What's great about these is they're actually free and available to all of our customers and our partners. To get started, please review the extensive documentation available at build.sunnerslive.com, sign up for the Slack community, or speak to your sales representative.